Computer science. We're going to talk more about classes today, uh, specifically instance variables and state. So remember, objects have behavior and state. Behavior is the things that the object can do, the methods, and attributes are the things that the object remembers, the things that it knows. Uh, these are going to be represented by instance variables. And the state is the values that are assigned to the attributes. So each, every clock is going to have the same behavior and attributes, but each instance of the clock will have different values for its state. When we write a class, we are defining the behavior and the attributes um, of an object, of a type of object. And when you instantiate that object, it will uh, create an object with this behavior and the attributes. In your code, behavior is represented by methods and attributes are represented by uh, instance variables. Um, so this is this is still all old stuff. When you uh, declare a class, you've got your class header, public class, name of class. Within the body of the class, you can define a bunch of methods. Each method has its own header and body. Uh, public return type name of the method with um, parentheses for its parameter list. You can have many methods. Uh, and this defines the behavior of an object, the things that it can do. You can also define your instance variables in the class when these define the attributes, what your object uh, can know. And instance variables are real simple. They're variables. You have to name the variable um, and they use the same rules and conventions as any other kind of variable. You have numbers, letters, underscore. You can't start with a number. And we use camel case. The first letter is lowercase. That is how you name an instance variable or any variable. Um, you have a type. So just like any other variable, you have to declare the type. What is the type of this instance variable? Int, double, Boolean, or the name of any class that you've created, because those are also types that you've created. Uh, and then you have a visibility. So instance variables will always be private. Um, so private, type, name of instance variable, semicolon. That is how you declare an instance variable. And you can have as many instance variables as you need. Um, of course, each instance variable would need a, a unique name. They might have the same types as each other. They might have different types. That, that doesn't really matter. Uh, the type matters for the particular instance variable. Um, yeah, whatever, whatever attributes this object needs, you, you just define them as instance variables. We usually put those at the top of our class all together, followed by all of the methods. Um, instance variables are declared within the scope of the entire class. So they're declared inside the curly brackets of the class, which means everything inside that box, that scope, can access these instance variables. So here we've got an instance variable called value, and we've got two methods, one called set value, one called get value. And both of these methods are referencing that instance variable. So set value is assigning a value to the instance variable, and get value is um, returning the value of that instance variable. Uh, but when you, they use variable, notice we don't redeclare the variable in the methods. We're just using that instance variable. They're, they're sharing it. They're, they're seeing the same state using that instance variable. There are three types of variables uh, in, in Java. You've got your instance variables, you've got your parameter variables, and you've got your local variables. Variables, they're all the same thing, right? It's a name to represent some data. It's a box that you put data in, and then you use the name to, to reference that data later. Um, the difference between the types of instance variables is how they get assigned data um, and the, the scope with it where they exist. So parameters and local variables, they exist within the scope of the method where they're declared. So this, these parameters only exist within, uh, this parameter v only exists within the set value method. Uh, this variable, foo is a local variable. It's local to that method. So it only exists within that method. Um, value is an instance variable. It's declared within the scope of the class. So it exists in all of the methods. All of these methods can access uh, value. Get, val get value, this method down here, cannot access the foo variable and it cannot access the v variable because it's in a different scope. If you drew a box around the curly braces, right, and looked at your scope, you'd see that there's no connection between set value and get value, but both of those are within the box that contains value, uh, so they have access to that. 
Uh, all right, so attributes versus state. So attributes are, are the instance variables. They uh, define the kinds of things that an object uh, knows about. So in this class called ball, we have two attributes, diameter and color. So how big is the ball and what color is the ball? When you instantiate an object, when you create an actual object using the template that is the class, you assign values to the um, attributes. So here we're making a new ball and we're saying the diameter is three and the color is white. We've created a ball. The state of that ball is that it's got a diameter of three and the color white. If we create another instance of a ball, we use the same code, the same um, ball class to create a new ball, but this ball has a diameter of nine and it is orange. So the state of these are the values assigned to the attributes. The state of the baseball is three and white, and the state of the basketball is nine and orange. The attributes are just the names of the values of, the, of that state. And that is, that's instance variables. That's really all we got for instance variables. Real easy, you, you just define a variable in the class, you prepend it with the word private, that's it, and you can access it in all of your variable in all of your methods in that class. And that is computer science.